Now I'm sure as all of you have heard, there is a new $2 billion master plan community being built here in Frisco. This is also where the PGA of America headquarters and golf course will be, and Universal Studios will be right next door. This master plan community will have everything you could possibly need. It will have shops, restaurants, houses, trails, lakes, an amusement park, a golf course, like it has everything. Now this master plan community is split up into nine different sections. Each of them have their own purpose and I don't have a ton of information yet on each of the sections. However, I will tell you everything I know so far. So let's get into the specifics of each section. So first off, we have Brookside and the Preserve Village. Now these are going to be our neighborhoods or at least the only sections that I have seen so far that are going to be fully dedicated to housing. Now we don't have exact information on how much the houses are going to cost and we have even spoken to a builder rep who is going to be in the fields and they have said that they aren't even sure what the prices are going to be either. They aren't even sure what exactly the floor plans are going to look like for their builder. But like I said, I'm going to tell you everything I know so far. So let's talk about the Preserve Village first. So there's going to be 230 homes available for the first phase of construction. Now these are going to be homes that are more luxurious and this is going to be a guard gated community. The village will have at least two miles of frontage on the golf courses, so you're talking houses with golf course views. Now what makes the Preserve Village stand out in comparison to the other sections of the village is its topography. And what I mean by that is there's going to be a ridge that runs along the middle of the neighborhood. This is going to elevate the homes 30 to 35 feet, creating a more dimensional landscape. And according to Mayor Jeff Cheney, he says it's going to be California-esque. And in his words, he says, You've got the hillside homes that have 30 mile views. Now, I find that extremely intriguing because here in the DFW area, we have no hills. We are very flat. The residents of the Preserve Village will also have access to exclusive tennis courts and amenity centers. There's also going to be tons of trails that go throughout the neighborhood and that also connect to the golf course as well. Now there's a long list of builders that are going to be in the Preserve as well as Brookside but I'm not going to bore you with reading those off to you so I'll just put some on the screen. Now on to Brookside. So like I said, this is the other neighborhood in the master plan community. And from the website, it looks like these are going to be more traditional American style homes. Fields Village is ready to take on the future with homes reminiscent of some of the most noted American neighborhoods. Now, just like the Preserve Village, Brookside will also have trails that go throughout the neighborhood. I will say Brookside does mention that theirs will be multi-use so they will have biking trails as well as hiking trails. Olivia Clark Homes is one of the builders that will be in Brookside and the Olivia Clark website has some examples of different floor plans and models that will be in the neighborhood. Now these range in different sizes and floor plans like I said and it looks like there is going to be a lot of townhomes actually. Let's get into the rest of the sections of this community. So next we have Fields West. Now this is going to be Legacy West 2.0. Like we said, same developers but this is going to be a lot bigger. And from the website, it looks like the Fields West section will offer more affordable housing options. It looks like there's going to be townhomes that start at $399,000. Now, I said affordable because in comparison to the millions and millions of dollar homes that will be in the preserve, it is definitely more affordable. Fields West will also have 4,200,000 square feet for office spaces and also 425,000 square feet for retail and restaurant space. And last, 2,000 urban residencies. I believe this is the townhomes. Now I'm sure a lot of you have also heard that there's going to be a Ritz-Carlton built here as well, and that will be located in Fields West. Now the map also shows North Fields and Point East, and we don't have a ton of information on that yet. From the looks of the map, it's hard to tell if there's going to be housing there as well, so we will just have to sit and wait for more information on those. Now the map we all have been looking at is from October of 2022, and since then it looks like Universal Studios has taken up one of the sections, and that section is Midtown East. It's still featured on the map, however, it is fully taken up by Universal Studios. Next we have East Village, again, we don't have much information on that yet. But we do have information on University Village. Now this is where the UNT Frisco campus is and it is currently open. Now there's still lots of room for expansion and lots of plans to expand. The developers have said they are adding student housing, which is supposed to hold up to 30,000 students. Now like I mentioned, the PGA of America headquarters is right in the Fields Master Plan community. 
as well as right next door at the Omni PGA Resort. Now, this is scheduled to open next month, May of 2023. This hotel will have 550 rooms, 30,000 square feet of meeting and restaurant space, and next month the PGA is hosting their first championship, and this is the 83rd Kitchen Aid Senior PGA Championship. And not to mention PGA is also slated to host six major championships over the next 12 years. Now that was just a brief overview of what we know so far. Like I said, we don't have a ton of information on each of the sections of the Master Blend community. However, the second we have more information, you know I will have a video up for you. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the fields. I'll see you next time, bye.